Hello, I'm Jog, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Last time, we sort of expanded the base a little bit. We got some things built up and expanded. Most important thing probably being getting the nature reserve set up. And getting our very first critter feeder set up slash stable. Now, before we really get anything started, I kind of want to just get a couple of things planned out. So, I'm going to be back in just a minute as I plan this out. Okay, so I have done a lot of, quote, planning. We have not advanced time at all. But essentially, I want you to get rid of a bunch of this dirt and sand and everything else. I want to place it down with tile, because if you actually go over this, tile actually has an increase to our walking speed of 25%. So hopefully they'll be able to get to and from locations faster. Uh, I want to get rid of this bathroom. However, I want it to be one tile lower. So that's just a slight annoyance, but we'll, I'll deal with this when the time comes. Uh, up here I am building more stables. We're going to be working on building more stables. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five of them is the plan for right now. Uh, but most importantly is just me getting this stuff done first. And since I don't think people really care about me showing off all the building and digging, I'm going to speed things up a little bit. However, one important thing I want to point out is that I'm putting the door here. Now that might be questionable because I said I wanted everyone going into here. And what would stop them from just leaving? Well, something I didn't think about till just the other day, we can control which way duplicates can go in and out of doorways. So, for example, I can have duplicates go from this side and go through the door into the bedrooms, but forbid them from going from the bedrooms out this way, thus giving them a faster way to get to bed. Well, at the same time, meaning that when they wake up, they have to go up here. Also, I'm being careful not to replace any of these tiles that have plants on them with a tile because I still need to say I still want this thing to be a nature reserve and I also want to expand upon this way and as long as this thing is at least I think 32 tiles this thing should be fine so either way let's get the building and I'll be back probably when the printing pod goes off in less than a cycle I messed up. There was probably a... Probably a thing of muckroot berry down here. And I got rid of it. So this might have been a nature reserve, but now it's only a park. So I only have three nature reserves, which means I need to fiddle around and get another one. God dang it. Okay, well, this is actually not all that difficult. You have algae, so you're out. You're unconstructive, which means you won't build, so you're out. So, either taking you or taking the puffet eggs. And considering I just want to try and get myself as many duplicates as early on as I can. Turner, welcome aboard. I think I got silver, so how do I call you? I was against the idea at first, but you know what, why not? I know I have a yellow already, but yellow and gold will say the two completely different shades of yellow. Here we go, finally. Took a little walk to do, but colony achievement. Some reservations. Improve duplicate morale by designing four areas as nature reserves. Simple enough. Okay, now give me back the materials needed for these things. Alright, new duplicates. You fall asleep, so you're out. You are great at supplying. You're a night owl, meaning that you do better at night, getting a plus three to all your attributes. But you're terrible at critters, you're terrible at plants, and it decreased bathroom speed. That's honestly not too bad. Compared to you, who has three things, supplying, tidying, and doctoring. So you're good with plants, you're good with machinery, good with decorating, apparently. But you cannot do cooking. Uh, honestly, I think I'll take Ada. 
And your new name shall be... Orange. Project Orange. Instead of Orange Boy, we have Orange Girl. Let me start off, because it'll be the first time I actually remember to do it right off the bat. By putting on your new schedule. This bathroom situation has just been awful. I'm just trying to get the dang thing done. And... Well, everyone's having a mess every five seconds. Okay, well, guys, I'm getting this set up. We also got ourselves an achievement. The Royal Flush. Replace every outhouse and wash basin in your colony with a latrine, a lavatory, and a sink. So, if they can get this one built, I can explain what's going on. So, I had to get water. I got water up there to go over this way. So, how this thing, how this system works is that uh, the duplicates will go to the bathroom. The water will come out, polluted, go over this way into this tank. All the water in the tank will come out this way, go over this way to go to the water sieve. And the water sieve will take any of the polluted water that we get, alongside the normal water until that's gone. Uh, get rid of any pollution, turn it into normal water, and we will then recycle that into the bathroom. Now, that however does not remove any germs that are in the system. So, any... Wait, go ahead. I mentioned it before, we had a lot of messes. I don't know about. Uh, this does not remove any germs, however, unless the system has changed, uh, the system does not care about germs. They will essentially just wash their hands and get rid of any germs that they get from using the bathroom. Matter of fact, I want to disable this infect so that they are not wasting time doing this. And yeah, unless this thing fills up with water, which will be the case. You actually do make more water using the system than what you lose. We will be fine. Now if I just put down a doorway just to block the thing off, we'll have a quote proper latrine set up. Which should be another thing to morale. Where is it? Washroom, that's it. Plus two to morale. 
Also, I have it so that they only wash their hands when they go from left to right. That way they're not washing the hands, you in the bathroom, and then washing their hands again, and then leaving the bathroom. Uh, because they don't want any heavy machinery, the water sieve is going to be on this side. And there we go, washroom. Another thing I want to point out is that if we go over to this one, material overlay, go to the gases. Uh, there's a lot of carbon dioxide that is building up at the bottom of our base. I want to build this thing, a carbon skimmer, which will take in water to filter out carbon dioxide from the air. So it uses water and it will get rid of carbon dioxide, however that water becomes polluted water. Or, yeah, polluted water, so we can just bring that back up here to be sieved. And in a sense, get a way of removing the CO2 in the air and just keep our base up and happy. Also, uh, this thing right here, the disconnect one, or the pliers, scissors, whatever you want to call it, extremely useful. Like, I, I cannot lie just how useful and potentially broken it is just to have that. Unfortunately, I don't have a good way of doing this. But this does give me another chance to actually show off something else I have not done yet. That being bridges. You want to be careful and make sure that the bridges are flowing the right direction. Because I have this one going the wrong direction. Uh, why is the input green as the output? Because I want this side to be getting the water from up here to go down here to go into this. And then have the green one output the water to go over this way. So just... Keep an eye and a mind on all of that. Also, I'll get rid of you. Just so I can move it down. But uh, the space has been going pretty slowly. We started at 15, I'm at 21, and they have not even started this yet. Uh, everything has just been moving rather slowly, and I could not tell you why. Okay, well, with 21 cycles in, I have 9 duplicates. We are currently starving, so I think I want to take these Shine Nymph eggs and do something horrible. I think I want to get the Egg Cracker out. Look at this thing built, priority 9, and crack these 3 eggs. Okay, so I haven't been talking for a while, and I do apologize for that. It's just that... It, it just feels so slow for anything to really happen and go on. Uh, one thing I have done is put down this fish feeder, and I'm not gonna lie, this thing can be temperamental. However, I'm feeding this Paku some algae. Doing that will eventually tame the thing, however it takes forever for them to become tame. But if I'm gonna go for food, I might as well use what I got, and this Paku becoming tame, producing eggs and whatnot, is definitely gonna be more to my benefit than anything else. So that's the first thing. Uh, another thing is that I've been feeding my hatches sedimentary rock because I want them to become stone hatches, which becomes a lot easier to do when they eat sedimentary rock. However, uh, if I scroll out a bit, sedimentary rock I don't have an easily abundant. It's a lot over here, which I have to actually dig out to get to. Uh, but a lot of my stuff right now has just been sandstone. I have to go down here if I want to get more. Like, there's bits and pieces all over the place, but, um... If I want to eat more of it, I have to be, I have to dig out a bit more and actually get to it, which is just being a little bit of a pain, because I really do want to, well, sure, make sure I actually have these guys fed. Also, they're feeling cramped so often, so I do have to wrangle them up and move them out up here instead. At least until I get some of these other ones done, which again, they're taking forever! I have so many of them. Also, food is becoming an issue. There's so much to do and so little time, and it feels like so little of it really gets done at the end of the day. Thank you. 
Well, I just found the most interesting duplicate. This guy is handy, so he has a plus three to construction, while also being unconstructive and can never do, can never build. Why? How can you have something that's both good at construction and not be able to do construction? You can't even do the most basic, build the most basic of structures, yet you're handy with a plus three in construction. Uh. So I'm stuck between these two. A night owl, that is a slow digger. Well, a green thumb that can't cook or do medicine. Well, who can't cook and is bad at medicine. I think I'll take the night owl. And I don't think we have this name yet, so... Hello, purple. I don't have a bed for you yet. Yet. Make that a priority nine. Put that right in there. Keep getting to shut that off. Oh, I forgot about this achievement. Hello there. Red light, green light for setting up automation. Okay, so right now I'm trying to get these incubators finally set up. So that these hatchling eggs can be growing a little bit. Well, growing. Um, not growing, but incubating faster. And I don't want these things on all the time. So I want to use some automation when they get the batteries and the power set up so that I can manually turn these on and off when needed until I can actually get research done, which they're doing now. So hopefully get this automation completely automated without me having to do anything. Biggest issue being that this is going to require power for one, and then two, these eggs need to be lullabied. So I definitely want these eggs being taken care of as soon as possible. Okay, there we go. So this egg is incubating. Now if one of my guys can come over here and start singing to the egg. Okay, good. I think that's what I was looking for. Yes, but I need the materials to do it. Uh, a cycle sensor. So I can essentially have this thing set up, which will essentially say, hey, I want this incubator running for, like, two hours in a day, then it shuts off. One of them shuts off, the other one will turn on for two hours in a day, shut off, so on and so forth. And, of course, right as he gets to it, does the thing finally run out of power. I hate you, game. I hate you sometimes. That's just so mean. Well, speaking of critters, this little Paku has finally been tamed and has a reproduction cycle of, well, base cycle of seven. But because he's happy, it, it goes up to 67. So you're getting an egg every two days. Or, like, two eggs every three days. So Paku can easily multiply. Biggest issue is that it takes forever for them to do it, and then they just keep on eating algae. Oh, 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 stone hatchling egg. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly the thing I want to see. Because stone hatches can eat a lot more than what base hatches can eat. So I'm not worried about them potentially starving. They just actually need to, well, be born. Okay, now let's see this duplicate lullaby the egg. Okay, so the egg was now lullabied, increasing its incubation time by an extra 20%. So it means that a hatch egg can take 4 days to hatch compared to, like, 20. Okay. I feel like all I do right now is just come back every time I get another friending pod thing. Food sounds good. Although I'm doing okay on food for right now. So... It's never a bad thing to have more food, but I don't know. Uh, now you three. All three of you don't seem to be bad. That decrease in science is a little bit annoying because his skill learning is decreased because of that. So that's off digging, but he's a rancher, a builder, and a farmer. You have mole hands, so I, I love that little animation. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah,
an increased bladder. That's not an issue at all. And the last one is a rancher, a digger, and a supplier, who's an animal lover with an iron gut, but bad when it comes to construction speed. Uh, any of these guys could really be good, but I'm a sucker for ranchers, so I think I'll take you. Let's name you... Actually, no, instead of Ruby, how about Pink? Welcome along, Pink. Okay, so another thing while I think about re uh, ranching, uh, I'm getting the cycle sensors set up. So how I'm doing it right now, and this is without really testing anything, uh, I'm having an activation time, so an active duration of 10% of the day. The activation time will start here. So this one is going to be 10 of 10, this one will be 20 of 10, 30 of 10, and 40 of 10. So essentially, this guy starts at 10, goes up into 20. This guy goes from 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and then 40 to 50. Assuming these guys actually want to fill these things, let's put these up to 37 that's it, so that they can get built. Hopefully, in theory, that means that they can just... I won't have to babysit this thing, although I might have to depending on, well, what my ranchers are doing. In theory, it should work. Okay, here we go. Now, Red is, well, a very good rancher, so... He'll, like, lullaby the eggs pretty quickly. The other issue is that I need to make sure I have the power for this, which I might not. So maybe I'll lower the activation time. But yeah, okay. So one goes on, the other one goes off. I do need to be worried about my current load being, well, my potential load being more than what my uh, wire can handle. The wire for this can only handle up to a thousand watts going on at one time anymore, and there's a chance that the, the wire ring can break. If the wire ring breaks, well, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. Hold up, see a yellow. There we go. Also, I guess I got slime lung, like, all over my base. Which is surprising, I was hoping that would go away. Alright, and here's the other issue. These three were lullaby, this one was not. Which could mean I'm gonna do stuff like this, where I'm gonna have to go back and... ...keep an eye on them. Okay. Story trait. Ancient specimen. I've discovered a fossilized critter buried in my colony. At least part of one, but it doesn't resemble any of the species we've encountered on this asteroid. Where did it come from? How did it get here? And what other questions might these bones hold the answer to? There's only one way to find out. I just saw this by accident and clicked on it, but yeah, fossil fragments. So, unlock full access to the fossil cache buried beneath the... Ancient specimen that requires excavation of all deposit sites. Alright. I'll get to that one in time. Oh, 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 oh! Ow! I got something over here. Oh my god, there's two of them! Okay. Well, I know what I'm doing. Well, as I was uh, looking around, I found another one! Right over here, so that is my fourth potential anything, geyser, vent, whatever. Ooh. Well, I would like to find out what these things are, but I don't think I have time. I only wanted to go up to cycle 30. Ooh, 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 ooh. Should hopefully get some good stuff. Should also figure out what I'm doing with all of this polluted water. I should really do something with it rather than just having it standing around. Guess I could pl uh, plummet into something. Well, I think we're almost done with this one, and to be honest with you, I don't think I talked too much. This whole idea I had with the cycle sensors was not working out too well, so I think I'm just gonna have to go- I think I'm just gonna be better off going manual on that one, which is fine. Uh, at least until we get ourselves enough set up. I'm still not doing great on the food situation, but 
Let me slow this thing down a little bit. This Paku down here is already giving me three eggs, and he's on his way to give me a four, so that should be fine. Uh, I'll definitely get rid of this guy, and... You know what? I won't steal that egg. I'll just, uh, kill the Paku when the time comes. I'm waiting for this guy to lay an egg, so I can get rid of him, so he'll be more food. And I guess I could also try to keep an eye on my hatches, because they take what? They take about six days, so if any of them are consider considered old, which I don't think they are. Really, like, if they're too old to be useful, then we can just get rid of them, but... Like, even 73, as long as they're actually happy and whatnot, it's still fine. Yeah, 62, 73, but considering they'll give me another one in, like, six days or whatever, they're fine. But, uh, yeah, I guess the base is more or less coming along. Oh, this thing, flower pot. I wanted to put in... I don't have it yet, because I didn't get rid of it yet. I want to put in this, a buddy bud. If we actually look at the overlay, it makes floral scent. And floral scent can actually help fight back against slime lung. Which is something my base is dealing a little bit, mostly because of all that polluted oxygen and whatnot. But unfortunately, it seems like this is where things are going to come to a close. Let me just see if this guy's going to take care of this. Thank you very much. And yeah, when we come back next time, hopefully we can get everything good. Like, honestly, I technically did a lot, but I didn't feel like I said a lot. We got the bathroom set up, so that's all good. We got a lot of tile down. We got five ranches for when the time comes that we can actually start using these to start growing our food. We have 11 duplicates. And how are we doing on Locavore? Uh, where is it? All the way up on top. Locavore, we are only a little more than halfway there. We still have a bunch of time, considering the fun is endless. It's carnivore that's going to be the big issue. I've eaten next to no meat, but we have so many cycles. And if we can do nothing but eat meat, it would take four, less than 40 cycles with oh, 11 duplicates. I want to get 12. I want to get 12, and then I'm going to pull on the brakes a little bit. I want to have a max of 24, but 12, I think, will be good until much later on. And by that point, we can probably start taking any of those extra care packages that have coming out. Because those, um... Ba, 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 ba. Those eggs that I cracked weren't all that great. I was hoping that someone would eat them, but they didn't. And I didn't have enough to make an omelette, so... That was just kind of a bit of a waste. But, oh well. We also have yet to get to these, so that will be opened up for next time. So that'll be a surprise. And, yeah... I think we'll figure out things next time. Also, let's end things off by showing off my duplicates and what they're all doing. Let's get you into Metronics uh, Engineering. So, Blue has gone into super hard digging. Cyan has gone into two things of digging, one thing of building. Gold has gone... is also going to go into Metronic Engineering. Green has only gone to the first step of cooking. We really don't need this one, because... Spice grinder, we're not even using the spice. We're not even have that built yet, so that's fine. So I've gone them into some construction. Magenta has gone all the way up to astronomy. And well, I guess we'll be working on them getting over to rocket science, which oh rocket science. Uh rocket navigation. However, I do need to get into improved carrying and then suit wearing and then so on and so forth. Orange has gone into uh supplying. And I'll probably get her into Tidying and then maybe doctoring. Pink, who just recently joined us, has only gone into farming. Purple is also in farming. It'll be nice to have more people into ranching. Speaking of ranching, red has gone all the way down the ranching path with nothing else of note. Same with yellow, but he's at least gone some construction skill. And last up, silver has kind of gone all over the place. Starting off with super hard digging, gone into cooking, also into tinkering, so. Yeah, don't really know what I want to do with them, but I'll figure things out later on. And lastly, let's just look at the research. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it really did. That's, I started off with this, with the whole fish trap just to get the incubators. Got into some power. I want to go down this way to get the steam turbine for later on. And I'm looking for something else, but I'm not seeing it. Hmm... 
Oh, okay, yeah, I already got the hydrogen generator. That'll be useful for later on. Uh, nothing in cell materials, nothing from colony, nothing from medicine. Liquid, uh, I got myself the electrolyzer, because we'll be using this for oxygen later on. Uh, the whole bathroom setup stuff that I wanted from the bathroom, the water sieve, the liquid reservoir, but I haven't gone past that yet, although I will eventually probably want this summer locker tuna. Got into a little bit of the gases, mostly just to get myself the carbon skimmer and the deodorizer, which I have not actually explained what that does. And I haven't done anything else, but well, I did a little bit. Deodorizers will actually take polluted oxygen, suck it in, and then uh, produce normal oxygen. If you actually look up here, this room used to be filled with a lot of polluted oxygen, but thankfully this guy sucked it up and turned it back into normal oxygen. He requires sand or some sort of filtration unit, but in return, he will eventually deposit clay. Clay will have its uses for later on. And yeah, the last things I did was go down here to try out the cycle sensor, which didn't work out. The timer sensor might be the better option. I, I might look this one up off camera to find out like what other people do for that one. But yeah, I think that's about it for right now. Bedrooms expanded a little bit. This expanded a little bit. And hopefully... Hopefully by the next episode, we won't be worrying so much about our food, and hopefully we'll get all these ranches more or less set up, even though they won't be fully automated yet, or maybe ever. We'll do those things as the time comes. Until then, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or whatnot, please feel free to ask me in the comments. I feel like this is probably not one of my best runs, but I don't know. When I go back, I didn't think the last one was going to be so good, and I know the half hour long, so let's see how the fun goes. Bye-bye.